the third stop on Miami's five game road trip brings the heat to beautiful Los Angeles to take on the up and coming Clippers with two heat winning streaks on the line. LeBron James fresh off his season high 44 point performance Sunday at Portland and his 28th career Eastern Conference Player of the Week award. And Dwayne Wade is the other half of Miami's dynamic duo. Wade averaging 32 points a game in the Heat's last seven. Out of the Clippers locker room is Blake Griffin. He's the NBA's best rookie, and he is a one-man Air Force. He's already one of the league's best rebounders, dunkers, and players. And welcome one and all inside the Staples Center for the first of two games this season between the Miami Heat and the Los Angeles Clippers. And we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us. Heat Basketball on Sun Sports is presented by AT&T U-verse. And good evening, South Florida. Thank you so much for staying up late to join us for some left coast NBA basketball. I'm Eric Reed tonight. The 40th game this season for the Red Hot Heat. The Heat carrying a nine game winning streak. Miami's won 21 of their last 22 games and that incredible run has vaulted the Heat into the top spot in the NBA's Eastern Conference. The Heat were a game ahead of Boston coming into tonight, but the Celtics won their game at home against Sacramento. They are just six and five in their last 11. That building, the Staples Center, is buzzing. Jason Jackson here with you for the starting lineup for Vinny Del Negro. You got Gomes, Griffin, and Jordan Gordon, and Davis in the backcourt for Coach Spolstra, 6 1 and 11 up front. That would be James Bosch and Ilgowskis, Wayne Wade, and Carlos Arroyo in the backcourt. The Spun Sports Spotlight is a place of remembrance and resurgence. New finish with 26 points, Tony. And he did get 14 in the second half. We talked about how he scores uh, uh, more than half his points in the second half. Seems like he gets a little time to get going, but he's, he's a very good, strong, athletic young player. And uh, Jack's talked about how he had some uh, played well in the world games, and that, you know that gets him more confidence for a young guy. He feels like he can beat anybody off the dribble. And uh, when you combine the fact that he can shoot from the outside, he's got good athleticism getting to the rim, and he's a strong guy, that's a good combination. And Blake Griffin wasn't as uh, rambunctious tonight as you usually have seen him on the, on the clips where he's dunking all over the place, but very effective, especially that when you look at his numbers where he was 9 for 18 from the floor, 24 points, 14 rebounds, 6 assists, a block shot, a steal. Good all-around game by the young player. And those two guys led the Clippers to this win tonight. And then you also have to include in that the veteran Baron Davis. Another guy who scored 20 more. He had 20 points. He had the five rebounds, nine assists, nine for 19 from the floor. And uh, all three of those guys had some big baskets down the stretch to keep the Heat at bay when they were knocking on the door. It looked like the Heat were going to come back in this game. Cut the deficit to two at one point, and then uh, the Clippers just took off from there, and the Heat defensively did not get it done tonight. With eight and a half minutes left in the game, the Heat were down by 12. They came back. Miami scored 10 straight points, 10-30 against the Denver Nuggets in Mile High, Denver. If you do want to watch a replay of tonight's game, tune back into Sun Sports tomorrow afternoon at noon. You can see the whole game all over again. And again, we remind you, Heat basketball on Sun Sports tomorrow night. Heat and the Denver Nuggets at 1030. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your home for Miami Heat basketball. For the coach, Tony Fiorentino and Jason Jackson, I'm Eric Reed. Thanks for staying up late to watch. Good night, South Florida. We leave you with a final touch.